God's children are friends of mine, the ones I really do care about. God's this is, of course, the great, the famous, the unique Johnny Cash. I'm David Hoffman. I filmed that. And I've got a story to tell you about how I came to film the great Johnny Cash, where that song came from, before you hear the rest of it. So the time is 1968. I'm a documentary filmmaker in New York City looking for gigs. And my partner at the time had done a film called Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. And he got to know Johnny Cash. And so I got this gig to make a documentary to help the United Way. You mostly know the United Way. The organization has like these thousands of local centers that help the underclass, the damaged, the poor, those in need. Now Johnny Cash at the time had just gone through a horrible period of his life. Huge drug abuse, alcohol abuse, a mess. He was skinny. He looked awful. He wasn't doing well. And something changed him just several years before. He had become somebody who was expressing his inner self. And we knew that, my partner and I. So I decided for this gig that I got, get Johnny Cash. Maybe we could get Johnny Cash to raise money to help the United Way support all these people who are having difficulties. So my partner has his phone number. And in those days, you just called people up, at least I did, and you took your chances. So I call. Hello? I'm David Hoffman, I'm a young filmmaker. He interrupts, yeah? What do you want from me? <laughs> and I tell him that I'm about to do this documentary for the United Way. And he says, what do they do? And I tell him they help the poor, they help those in need, the disabled, the down and out. Silence on the other end of the phone. Oh boy, I messed that one up. But that's not what he says. He says, I support all God's children. I support those in need, the down and out. I've been there. What can I do for you? What a moment. So I say, Johnny, we need a song. We need a song that speaks for the United Way, for those in need, for the down and out, for the working man. And he says, when do you need it? And I say, six weeks. He says, I'll be there. Six weeks later, he shows up in my studio with his band. No cost to me. It's Johnny Cash, the ordinary guy, but so extraordinary. Not just his voice, which sounds like God speaking, but the lines on his face, the emotion in his heart, the decency. He is just Johnny Cash, no matter how successful no matter how famous, an ordinary guy, a working man, kind of like me. So he sits the band down. I set the camera on the tripod. I'd never heard the song. I say, okay. And he sings what you're about to see. One take, and it's absolutely beautiful. God's children are friends of mine. The ones I really do care about God's children, the working man The underdog and the down and out But a poor girl can always dream That things are not just the way they seem And a poor man can make dreams come true With a little help from me and you And there are many, many little children down in the Heartbreaking, hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we could work together in a united way. If we could work together in a united way. I've written a lot of songs over the years about people in trouble who have to hold out their hands for help. As I think about these songs, I realize that almost every one of us finds himself at some point in his life in a spot where he has to reach out for help. I like to think that we live in a society where there's someone to give that help when it's needed. That's what the United Way is all about, and that's why I want to speak for the United Way. 
The United Way works for so many different kinds of people in so many ways that you can get lost just trying to list them all. I want to tell you about just one United Way story, but I think it will stand for so many others. It's a story about a boy that I'll call Bobby. It's a true story. Bobby is retarded. Now, I know that nothing worries an expectant parent more than the thought of, what if my child doesn't turn out right? And there's nothing that gives a parent more joy than hearing the doctor say, it's a perfect child. But what happens when fate doesn't go your way? What happens to the child? What happens to the parents? Somehow, of all the things that could be wrong with a child, retardation is probably the most difficult to accept. And yet, when you visit a center for retarded children, it only takes a few moments to be swept up into a joyous feeling. You get to love these children so quickly because you realize that, after all, they're God's children, too. When little Bobby was born, he was the sunniest child his parents could imagine. He was everything they dreamed of for their firstborn. The doctors told him that everything was just fine, so they had no reason to suspect that anything was wrong. Bobby seemed normal until he was two or so, but by the time he passed three, his parents began to worry. Bobby wouldn't talk, and he seemed to be behind other children his age. The doctor told him not to worry. Bobby was slow in developing, he said. A lot of children are like that. They wanted desperately to believe the doctor, but they couldn't keep their doubts from growing and eating away at them. They went to more doctors, specialists. Their savings were being eaten up. And finally, the blow they feared so much came. Bobby was retarded. There was no doubt about it. The doctor told Bobby's mother of special schools that might help Bobby, but they were very expensive and seemed way out of reach. They went on for a while, hoping against hope that somehow Bobby would snap out of it. There was no reason for Bobby to be retarded, they thought. It was not in the family, and he looked so normal, not like those others. But they could not keep up the pretense. Deep down, they knew. Bobby's father took it worse. He was ashamed of his child now. He felt Bobby would have to be put away. It was the only answer, he said. Bobby's mother would not have it. He was their child, a child of God whom she loved more and more because of what he was. She would not allow him to be put into an institution where he'd be lost to them forever. Finally, Bobby's mother turned to the United Way. She found out that she was not alone. There was hope for children like Bobby. They found a center that could help Bobby. Bobby's test showed that he was capable of making a good deal of progress. It would take love, specially trained teachers, and counselors, but he could learn to take care of himself, and he would grow up to be a man who could function in society. Progress was slow. Sometimes it was hard to see even from month to month. There are many, many little children down in the heartbreak and hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we would work together in a united way. If we would work together in a united way. And then one day, a tiny miracle. Not much by normal count, but for Bobby and his parents, it was a miracle. Bobby's father came to see his child in a school play. There was his child, emerging from his frightened little world. He was learning to respond to directions, to play with other little children. 
there was no point to grieving. That time had passed. There are many, many little children down in the heartbreak and hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we would work together in a united way. If we would work together in a united way. Well, Bobby's parents did find out where the help was coming from. That's how the United Way works, and that's the way it works for all of us. It's working every time one of us reaches out to help someone in need. It's working when the visiting nurses help the sick and the aged, when the Salvation Army and the Red Cross take care of people in emergencies, and when folks get a bad break. You can see it working in the smiles of little children in daycare centers and of young people in scouting and the wise. And it's working when you and I and all of the thousands of other volunteers across the land give our fair share because when you help someone the United Way, it starts working for you. So this year I'm asking all my friends to join with me by giving their fair share the United Way. Thanks to you, it's working. And there are many, many little children down in the heartbreaking, hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we could work together in a united way. If we could work together in a united way.